One of the things I love about We The Internet TV is that it gives me opportunities to work with people I've known for years and to reconnect with actors and writers I haven't seen in a while. And recently I was casting a project and I floated the idea of asking this actor if he'd want to be in it. And my friend said to me, really? You want to cast him? Didn't you guys have a fight on Twitter? Yeah, we had a fight on Twitter. That's how we reconnected. You don't talk to someone in years and then boom, there they are in your Twitter notifications telling you that you're wrong about something. But my friend's question really took me aback and it made me think about it. How, while me and the actor were having it out on Twitter, I had forgotten a few things about the guy, the real person in that thumbnail. That person who's incredibly talented, he's a great actor, and he's someone who in real life I've only had good experiences with. He's been a great guy to me. And the idea that I would throw all of that away because we had a fight on Twitter really grossed me out. And it's crazy to think, but for many people, that's how relationships go now, where arguments you would never have face-to-face -face are happening online. And because of one online argument going south, your whole history with a friend or a colleague can be erased. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to live in that world. I especially don't want to create in that world. Because if I'm not working with the best people I can be working with, my projects are going to suffer, and that's doing a disservice to the work and to the audience. And more than that, it's always better to have good people in your life. And having good people in your life means sometimes they're going to disagree with you and challenge you on your beliefs. That's how you get better or even change. Man, if two people can put their bull aside long enough to make something together, we're all better off for it. The video he's in better do well or I'm never working with that again.